Hello, Seymour. It's great to see you. How have you been? I've been doing well, mister. Ch Chalmers. Thank you for asking. Come on in. Wow, your garden is looking lovely. What kind of plants do you have here? Prouds. I've got a variety of flowers and herbs. I'm particularly proud of my mint plant. <sighs> Would you like to take a look? Sure, that sounds interesting. What kind of herbs do you have? I have rosemary, thyme, and basil. They add great flavor to my cooking. Would you like to try some? That sounds delicious. What kind of dishes do you make with them? I love making roast chicken with herbs and a side of mashed potatoes. It's always a hit at dinner parties. That sounds delicious. Maybe I'll try my hand at cooking that for our Christmas lunch. I think that's a great idea. Would you like to come inside and have a drink while we wait? Be sure that sounds lovely. What kind of drink do you have? I have a nice glass of eggnog for you, and I'll also have one myself. Thank you, Seymour. Frustration. It's not fair! I did everything right and still ended up with burnt iceberg lettuce. It's not my fault. Skinner sits at the kitchen table, staring at the blackened leaves in front of him. He slams his fist on the table, causing the lettuce to fly everywhere. Damn it, he curses as he begins to clean up the mess. As he wipes down the table, Skinner's mind races with thoughts of what to do next. He considers trying a new recipe or going out to get more lettuce, but neither seems like a satisfying solution. I need a better plan, he thinks to himself, his brow furrowed in concentration. Skinner spends the next few minutes brainstorming fun and creative scenarios. He imagines creating a giant, leaf-shaped cake or using the burnt lettuce as a prop in a photography shoot. With each idea, he feels his mood lifting and his energy increasing. I can make this work, he says to himself, a smile spreading across his face. The scene ends with Skinner walking out of the kitchen, determined to turn his burnt lettuce into something beautiful. My grandmother's fruitcake is right outside the window. Maybe I can use it as a substitute for the burnt iceberg lettuce. I think I can climb out the window and get it. Wish me luck. Why did I even try to make dinner? My cooking skills are hopeless. That looks like smoke to me, Skinner. Are you sure that's steam? Trust me, Chalmers. I'm just making a steamed version of iceberg lettuce. The smoke you're seeing is actually just steam. I've heard that one before, Skinner. Uh, if that were true, where would the lettuce be? We don't have a garden in the kitchen. Well, you see, Chalmers, the lettuce is actually up in the polar stratospheric clouds. <laughs> That's why it looks like smoke. The lettuce is in the clouds. I highly doubt that. Do you have any evidence to back that up? Hmm, not exactly. But it's definitely a new and innovative way to cook vegetables. Skinner, this isn't the salad I ordered. It looks like fruitcake. Oh, uh, uh, it's not. Actually, it's my grandmother's famous fruitcake. She's known for making the best in town. Well, I don't think that's what I wanted to eat tonight. Can you please clarify? I thought you'd enjoy trying something new. It's a regional specialty, after all. Skinner, I don't think that's right. And even if it was, I didn't consent to eating fruitcake for dinner. Fire in the kitchen. What's going on? It's just Opportunity Rocks. Don't worry about it. Opportunity Rocks. That doesn't make sense. <sighs> Can I see them? No, it's fine. Just trust me. You're not going to tell me what's going on? It's just a minor setback. Let's focus on the bigger picture. 
polar stratospheric clouds. Tell me more about Skinner. Well, there's not much to tell, really. I've been to the North Pole multiple times and haven't seen any evidence of them. Really? How can you be so sure? I'm positive. And don't act like you know everything, Chalmers. Oh, I know! But I do know that those clouds exist, and one day you'll see it for yourself. Hum, I doubt it. Well, we'll just have to wait and see. Let's head back inside before we freeze our tails off. Fine. Though, don't think I'm conceding that I'll ever see those clouds. We'll see, Skinner. But I promise you, one day you'll be eating your words. Yeah, right? Goodbye, Skinner. Have a nice day.